Okay, here's everything that happened in medicine and healthcare this week, part one. On Monday, we learned about a new urine test specifically for prostate cancer. The important part was is that these tests actually had better results compared to the average PSA test, which is kind of a global indicator for prostate cancer. On Tuesday, Walmart announced that they're now gonna be doing prescription drug home delivery for certain medications like Ozempic and insulin. The reason why this is important is because these need to be refrigerated and are now gonna make it easier for patients to get in as little as 30 minutes. On Tuesday, we also had the American Heart Association release a study when it came to the Mediterranean diet in tandem with a little bit of lean meat. They found that blood testing and the gut microbiome testing actually improved in these individuals compared to the control groups. Before we begin to Wednesday, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest healthcare medical news, you can find the link in my bio to my Substack, where you can get all the latest health information with a link to all of the articles that we're talking about. Or if you just want to help support the page, there's some ways for you to do that as well. On Wednesday, we also had the announcement for a $40 injection specifically for HIV. This means that something that was initially thousands of dollars is now going to cost only $80 per year. However, it doesn't seem like this program will actually start until 2027, so we'll just have to see if this remains true until then. That's all the major news for Monday through Wednesday. Stay tuned tomorrow to see the rest of the week.